Hey guys, it is time to pick your A-levels, but what not to do? So Eve Bennett has made a fantastic video for this channel telling you her advice on how to pick your A-levels. I've given you my opinion on how to pick your A-levels. Now this is how not to pick your A-levels. Do not base it on what your friends are doing because you might not end up in the same class. You might not end up in the same class. There might be two classes for A-level biology. You might be in one class, your friend might be in the other class. And your friend might decide to drop it and then, then you're stuck. So, do not pick a subject based on the teachers. Now, whether you like the teachers or whether you hate the teachers, your teachers should not be a reason for picking an A-level subject because, strangely enough, teachers have lives. They do things like I do, like go and get pregnant and then go on maternity leave. Um, I had a year 12 class a few years ago where during my year 12 I got pregnant, the other chemistry teacher um, got another job, so in between year 12 and year 13 they lost both of their chemistry teachers um, and they were really really not happy about that and I completely understand but just because you like the teachers or don't like the teachers that shouldn't be a reason for picking or not picking a subject because teachers leave, teachers join, teachers change. Um, two years is a long time and things are going to happen to your teachers. You shouldn't pick a subject if you feel pressured by your parents, by home or by school to pick it. Just because like your dad did A-level maths and all of your older brothers have done A-level maths doesn't mean you have to do A-level maths. If you want to go and do arts and drama because that's what's going to make you happy then great. Do not feel pressured into picking a subject that you don't want to do just because everyone's telling you that you should do it. Don't forget about the future. Now, you should pick subjects that you like, you should pick subjects that are going to make you happy, but you also need to pick useful subjects. So don't just focus on the now, think about the future, think about other things you need to take into account, like getting into university or getting on that course, and don't just isolate yourself into what's going to make you happy for the next two years, think about the bigger picture as well. Do not pick a subject based on the trips. Now this is a big one because I know biology do nice trips, like physics do nice trips, just because they're going somewhere fancy or went somewhere fancy last year, do not do an A-level subject because they have nice trips. It's like the worst reason ever. Okay guys, there are some um, tiny bits of advice on how not to pick your A-levels. Good luck with your subject choices, they are, they are a really, really important decision. And I know you've got so much other stuff going on at this time in your life, but A-level choice is a really important decision, so I will try and give you as much help as I can. Um, think about it carefully, we have loads and loads of time that we can change our mind, so try not to stress about it too much. Get loads and loads of advice from other people and if there's anything I can do to help you, just let me know.